Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape tutorial number 26, Bucket Tool. Alright, so you can find the Bucket Tool right here in your toolbox. The quick command to get to that is U. And the Bucket Tool looks like a bucket pouring out some paint. Um, the primary purpose of the bucket tool is to fill in areas with color. It actually doesn't work sort of like uh, Photoshop or a GIMP. It's not going to paint an object in. What it's going to do is create a new object within a space. So how does that work? Well right here I have brought in a um, JPEG that um, and this works really nice with filling in JPEGs. It's sort of a cheat around tracing everything out. So if you know if you want to trace a sketch out with a pen tool, sometimes, especially if it's a very simple picture, you can use the bucket and you can get it done very quickly. So like this center circle, I'm going to left click in it. Now what that did was fill it and put a stroke on it. Now it didn't actually do anything to this circle because that's a JPEG, it's not going to affect that but it's going to fill in that area with a shape so that's what it did and it created a new shape so let's go up and try it again let's press U and fill one of these and it did the same thing you can pull that out and now you have a full shape U and now let's take let's press Z and go ahead and zoom in right here notice when it does that it doesn't always make a perfect copy because it's working with the best math that it can it's not going to be exact so let's go ahead and press 5 to zoom back out one of the workarounds for that is is zooming in so if we zoom a little bit closer then we press U to get the bucket and we fill it in notice now that this shape is a lot more exact to that copy a little bit too too exact if you ask me because it picked up all those pixel, pixel, um, pixels that were on this image. Let's press 5. Alright, you. the next thing we're going to talk about with it is the grow and shrink. The grow and shrink is just that it's going to grow that object. So instead of trying to constrain it into that shape, it will actually make it bigger by X amount of pixels on um, points, inches, or millimeters. The next um, functionality is the closed gaps. So all of these have been closed. They're just closed objects. But if it wasn't and one of the ends was open, this would actually allow you to go ahead and fill, those, fill that object and still close the gap on it. Another interesting thing you can use with this, let's go ahead and draw a square. Let's um, get rid of the fill, let's press shift and just put a stroke on it and draw another one. So now I, I've drawn two vector objects and of course we can fill these any way we want and it's very easy to do that. It's quicker just to fill it with a color picker than it is to go to the bucket. However, if you had something like this and you wanted to, you can use the bucket to fill those. Let's control Z, hit the broom, now we'll do it again. Okay so what it, you've actually done is made several shapes out of these shapes and that can be pretty handy because you know instead of uniting things breaking it apart with the paths functions you can quickly fill it with a bucket tool if you just needed something similar like that or if you want to change the colors to these pieces you don't have to go to the advanced of um, going through the paths operations to do that and there you have it. It's pretty easy to use. Um, like I said, it is really, really awesome when you're using it to sort of quickly fill in some JPEGs or something. That's where it really shines. So that does it for the bucket tool. Please join us for Inkscape tutorial number 27, Mesh. Thanks for watching.